Hi parents. I hope you're doing okay. I hope everything is going well. I have spent the last week reading all these different blogs and online posts about homeschooling and I thought I would create a little message just to say well done for getting through this first week. Well done for anything you have managed or been able to do during this time of uncertainty and time of change. If that means that you've managed to get the kids out of bed all week, perfect, done. If it's that you've managed to get them to sit and watch TV or do one exercise or mm, do a wee bit of learning, great, well done. The whole aim of the homeschooling is not to put so much pressure on you to recreate school. You can't recreate school. It's absolutely impossible because actually your child never gets one to one or one to two or one to four, however many children are in your house, one adult to one child or two children all the time. They have a ratio of one to 19, one to 20, one to 30, that actually you cannot recreate school. You cannot recreate what they experience on a day to day. What this is about, what homeschooling is, is ideas of things to do with your children during a time of change to help keep some sort of routine and structure in place. If it works for your kid to sit down and do a nine to three timetable, perfect, wonderful. If it doesn't, that's okay. We are not expecting you to put so much pressure and stress on yourselves and on your kids that no one is able to learn and that everyone is falling out. This is about trying to keep the situation as calm as possible. It's about making sure you know roughly what your child is doing and what their class is doing and do not go onto these websites and think these parents are managing perfectly and you're really struggling at home. It's the worst thing you can do is to compare yourself to others because your family is different from any other family. How you work and what works for your children is different from what works from everybody else's. If your child really loves reading and all they want to do is read, they don't want to do their maths and they aren't ready to think about any other things but reading right now and reading helps keep them calm and settled. Brilliant, great, perfect. This is what it's about. It's about providing your children an opportunity to learn. That can be baking, it can be learning to cook, it can be learning to sew, it can be drawing, it can be exploring music, learning how to work the computer better, whatever works for your child right now will provide them an opportunity to learn. Every day of this uncertain time is a learning experience for you and for your child. Your child will learn how to tolerate other people, how to work the dynamics of your family, how to care for their own well-being, how you care for them, how a family works. These are all learning skills. They're all really important life skills in terms of relationships and team building and things that can be brought into their work experience years to come. Now, if you're at one of the schools where you're getting constantly asked to return your child's work for marking and that's causing you additional stress, tell them no. It's okay to say, this week has not been a great week for my child. This is not the time for formal learning. My child needs to be at home, needs 
care and love and needs different things during this time not to be forced to formally learn that this is causing my family stress and we are getting into fights and anger tell the school explain because actually the teachers are sending work home to be marked because they need things to do they want to keep their routine normal and that's why they're asking so really if this is not the time to learn for your child that's okay and it's okay just to take this as slow as you can and it might be that you want to do one thing a day formally rather than a whole six hours fine perfect it's about doing what works for your family it's about using this as an opportunity to slow down an opportunity to pause we do not get these opportunities very often to evaluate what works for us and what works for our children and how our well-being can be really assessed and we can learn to slow down. We have never had this opportunity before to actually pause and stop and reflect and think about are we happy are we doing what we can are we taking time to be as a family are we taking time for us are we looking after ourselves are we looking after our children we actually have an opportunity to stop to stop having to work 24 7 Stop trying to make sure that everything's perfect. To make sure the kids are up and ready, that you're up and ready, that you're out the door, the kids are out the door. They're work, 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 work. Your work, 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 whether that's working at home, tidying and doing everything or actually in work, coming home, bringing the kids home, work, 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 dinner, routine, bed and the day starts over again. We don't have that at the moment. We have time to pause, to breathe, to relax. And yes, some of us will still be working at home, but that's okay. Because again, it does not have to be as fast paced as it normally does. Break it up, pause, relax. Do what you have to do to get through this. This is not about being the best. It's about doing what is right for you. So thanks very much parents and I hope this message has helped in some way. Because really we are all doing our best and we're all trying to do what is right for us. And I know that it's so important to make sure that we are looking after ourselves, we are looking after each other and we are staying connected. That's the three most important things during this time. It's not about formal learning. It's not about making sure we're the very best and our children are perfect. It's about making sure you are looked after, your children are looked after and that you are connected to other people and that you know that you are loved and cared for. So I will go there now, but just remember you are loved, you are cared for and together we can get through this. Bye.